Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and we're back with more Chernobylite. In the last episode, we cleaned up. Now we're behind on a mission. Seems like every time we leave, something else happens. It's not the radio. It's one of these guys pulling me into something. Hey there, old again. timer. I need you to do something for me. I'm all ears. You know I came here to Chernobyl looking for someone. You mentioned a brother. Yeah, Ruslan. We grew up together in Moscow. We had to fend for ourselves from an early age. So you were, like, gangbangers? The proper term is thieves in law. Huh. But you don't even know that. So why is Ruslan even here? It's a long story. But our father was a cop. Like a lot of cops, he was a real piece of shit. He beat our mother every time he got drunk, which was always. But I'll never forget the last time. He took a swing at my head with a lid pipe. But this time it didn't connect. I wasn't a helpless little shit anymore, and neither was Ruslan. We grabbed the old man and threw him down the well behind the old house. Shit. He was just too much of a bastard to die, though. Only broke his legs. You threw your own father down a well. I guess he must have deserved it. Okay. What's my role in all this? My brother Ruslan did something he shouldn't, and after this something, he came here to hide in the zone. I've been trying to track him down for months. Damn. What did he do that would make him hide in a place like this? That's not important right now. Anyway, my best guess is that he was caught by NAR. I need to meet up with him and ask him some questions. This is very important to me. Search the NAR Mobile Command Center near the old hospital on Pripyat Port. There are some officer uniforms that will help you infiltrate the power plant. And while you're at it, I want you to look up some info, my brother. Anything you can find on Ruslan Horobets. Of course. I knew I could count on you, partner. Stay in touch, just in case. Radio me if you need help. I will. Okay. So we've got two choices here. Mikhail wants us to capture and interrogate some mystery big fish or checkpoint assault. Wants us to find what happened to his brother. I think that's probably a smarter one to do. We're going to do that. And that. Ammo stash. Stay at the base. We'll have him stay at the base in case we need help. You promised your friend something, and now you need to follow through. Sashko is like a live grenade right now. One wrong move, and he'll explode. Be careful. All right. Oh, it's not even that far. But I'm sure there'll be a crap ton of guards around. Really, no one's around. That does not uh, seem like a good thing. You know what I'm saying? No guards around means trap. Oh, crud. Oh, no. I got stuck. Ooh. Can I not? Get over. Oh, I got over it that time. Oh, I suppose I could have done that. that we were supposed to go.
I'm at the outpost. A lot of firepower here. Stay low. I could try my luck. See if I can take them out. You got balls. I'll give you that. <laughs> but no. Lure them away from the outpost somehow. Use the field radio. I assume Olivier taught you how to fool these robots. Okay, you got a plan. Get to it. Okay. Living on the streets of Moscow teaches you how to think on your feet, huh? <laughs> I like it. Alright, so we have to go back the way we came because all the radiation. Ah, crud. But it's all good. Do you know how many assholes show up here looking to join? We must be famous or something. Who are these guys? Ex-military, marks, even gangsters. Most of them get caught at the perimeter, but sometimes one just walks up to the front gate like he's selling magazine subscriptions. Unfucking believable. The auto uh, uh, audacity. They think they'll get brownie points for sneaking in. Fucking morons. Then you make us look bad, right? Exactly. Instead of impressing their future boss, they just piss off their future colleagues. My sister told me a similar story. Some douchebag trying to impress their boss by shoving everyone else's mistakes in their faces. He didn't last long. Interesting. What unit did she serve in? Unit? What? No. She's in marketing, social media, advertising, that kind of crap. It's the same deal everywhere, though. You just keep on smiling and eating shit. I think these are the only two guys over here. I'm at the radio station. Good stuff. You know what to do next. Um, yeah, this is... Bluebird calling reinforcements to Alpha Bravo Papa. Found our fugitive. Most wanted man in the zone. Over. What fucking Bluebird? This is a restricted channel. Who the fuck is this? Roger that. This is Team Alpha reporting enemy contact. Who is this? You're using last week's call signs. What's your status? Ah, uh, never mind. Team Alpha, this is Outpost 31. Reinforcements en route. We'll address your incompetence later, Private. I have my doubts, but it looks like they bought it. Nice. Now, Wolf, last thing you want is for them to catch up to you and your bullshit. Mm-hmm. Where am I supposed to go? So the issue is going to be, are there anybody else around us? I see two trucks. One of them's loaded with explosives, maybe. That's hard. Go down there and take a closer look, carefully. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get past this dude, so... Uh. 
I've got the uniform. Good. Now see if you can find anything on Ruslan. Team Rhino to combat ops. Team Rhino to combat ops. Over. Go ahead, Team Rhino. False alarm. No enemy contact. We're falling back to the truck. Over and out. Read me the fucking report, Igor. Now. It seems they caught someone who enlisted under false name. They found out his real identity, Ruslan, and that he was wanted for double homicide in Moscow. My God, Sashko, I'm sorry. They, I think they killed him in order to deny any involvement. So he's dead. I don't get to ask my questions then. What the hell is so important about these questions? This is your brother. Yeah. Seen as double homicide. It was our parents. I think Ruslan might have been involved in their deaths. What are you saying? You think Ruslan killed your parents? I have no idea what happened. I wanted to find out from him directly. Now I never will. Come on. You know your brother better than that. You and him saved your mum from your abusive asshole of a father. Do you honestly think he would harm her? Not intentionally, no, but maybe there was an accident, crossfire. I know you didn't get what you wanted, but you should trust in your memory of Ruslan. I'll see you back at the base. You're out of your goddamn mind if you think you're going back now. Whatever he did or didn't do, Ruslan is still my brother. I need you to avenge him. Okay. What? You should think things through first. Get some peace of mind. I don't want peace of mind. I want a piece of them. Mind the place and send those NL fuckers back to hell. I'm with you. Ruslan must be avenged. Appreciate it. Now, on the C4, grab the detonator and hide in the hospital. Wait for the right moment and press the button. Okay. not working. Where are we supposed to... Ah. Hmm? I've got the detonator. Question is, how far up am I going to have to go before I can see at a window? Oh, here we go. This is not being very helpful. Just one level. I see them. 
Whenever you're ready, but don't hesitate. Who's that? Some stumble bomb is closing in on the checkpoint. Is that Mikhail's friend? Blow it up before he gets any closer. Do it. What? No fucking way! That old bastard is way too valuable! Don't you fucking dare! Shit. <sighs> Alright, dude. I did it! For fuck's sake, he's got important contacts! We drank vodka together! Sorry. It had to be done. It had to be. Fuck you! If that really was some vagrant wandering around, I wouldn't give a shit. But he was really fucking useful to me! Fuck! Let's see if there's any goodies down there from the guys we blew up. Kind of got a love-hate thing going on here with Mikhail. But every choice, man, is just shit. Not a fun. This is Shizite and no bodies. I think we need to do a little bit of a run. I haven't grabbed any new stuff in the last couple of episodes. See if we can get ourselves some goodies. We were supposed to get through here. See, because if it's a matter of using the, um, yeah, I got two of them. Oh well. Uh oh. Bloody fucking hell! You just blew that poor asshole into pieces! Why? Why did you do that? I NEEDED HIM! You have no idea how this fucks things up for me! I'm sorry. I know he was your friend. Nah, he wasn't. But he was really useful. I'm disappointed in you, Igor. You let your emotions cloud your judgment and screw up my business! He's only going to get a half. Because it's going to piss everybody off here eventually. Because that's what they said to begin with in the game. Alright. Where's the rat dude? Oh, Mikhail's over here now. Or Oliver, that is. Oh, here he is. Good day, mate. Hi, Mikhail. 
I wanted to ask you something. How long have you been in the zone? Oh, years. Can't remember exactly. Some of those years are pretty wild if you catch my drift. But it feels like forever. Have you always been a stalker? Not always. Before I embraced this lifestyle, I did some other things. Bugshit, crazy, dangerous things. You've got my attention. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive, am I right? I used to pick blueberries and sell them. It was really fucking hazardous stuff. How is picking blueberries dangerous? You don't know your own shitty ass from your elbow, Professor Fancy Pants. But allow Uncle Mikhail to bring you up to speed. Blueberries are freaking irradiated as shit. Mushrooms, too. I was dealing with this guy who worked as a border guard, right? He used to search any 18-wheelers or lorries coming through, anytime they flashed red on the radiation monitors. First time I met him, he was shitting bricks. He thought somebody was smuggling a dirty bomb into the European Union. But it wasn't a radiological device. It was fucking blueberries from Pripyat. Oh, my. This load exceeded the norm four to six times over. I kid you not, sir. It's not gonna kill you outright, but it certainly isn't healthy, even with all those antioxidants. Fascinating. Did they put a stop to it? <laughs> of course not. The exporters just started diluting the more glowing blueberries with the less glowing ones, so the cargo wouldn't trigger the alarm. And so, glow-in-the-dark blueberries traveled to Poland, and from there to the rest of the European Union. <laughs> what irony. In the end, everyone gets a taste of the Chernobyl disaster. All right, I came over to him because I wanted to see Mikhail, what he's got trained you've been wise. around. You could teach me something about surviving in the zone. Perhaps a fucking lootly I can. Gathering and preparing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I need four. Okay. Never mind. Actually. All right, folks. Hold on one second. I'm going to get my gear all settled here. See what more I need to do. All righty, folks. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I am the Rev. Keep your heads down. Hey, all guns up. And I'll see you again real damn soon.